Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today was the Tuesday EW stream. Now there is a few things that they did mention, uh, TK was hosting the stream this time and gave us a little bit of information, however there's not a lot of new stuff to talk about, so we're just going to be playing some of the footage from the stream in the background while we talk about the few things they did mention. Now, the first thing that TK mentioned is that there is going to be a stream tomorrow at around 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Angler. We're finally going to get a stream talking about the Angler. Now, this will not feature gameplay. It is going to just be a Q&A of sorts where they're going to talk about the game, kind of explain some things that maybe weren't very clear, and also answer some questions from the chat towards the end. It's going to be pretty cool. We'll get to learn some more stuff about the game, which I'm all for. I, I want to know as much as I possibly can about that game because it looks to be exactly what I've been looking for in a fishing game. The other thing they talked about was the fact that the birdshot is supposedly going to move a little bit slower than it did previously in uh, this next update for Rev on Tule Coast. It seems like it's going to be a little bit more difficult to hit birds with it. You're going to have to lead a bit more, which I'm not exactly sure, like, uh... How that's going to work, I'm not sure if it's realistic or not. If I'm being honest, I'm not a shotgun hunter. Anytime that I've been hunting, I've used rifles. So I'm not as familiar with uh, the movement speed of a lot of these uh, shot rounds. Now, I do own a shotgun myself. However, I don't use it nearly as often as I do my rifles. And like I mentioned, I've never been bird hunting, so I don't exactly know what the lead would be needed for a lot of these species. I imagine it probably is going to be more in line with real life compared to what it previously was in the game, but let me know down in the comments what your experiences are with uh, bird hunting in real life and whether or not you need to lead them quite a bit or just a little bit. Now the last thing that I did want to real quickly talk about is the rework to the brown bear. These things look absolutely beautiful. I did not expect them to look so good, but I think they might be the best looking bear in the game now. We've always thought the grizzly looked pretty good and the black bear looked amazing after their rework. However, these brown bear, they just look so fluffy. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to start taking down some brown bear after this update. And I also can't wait to see what my current brown bear in the lodge end up looking like once they release this update. It's going to be really cool. And as of now, there is no information on whether or not early access will be happening anytime soon for Call of the Wild. So I know I've been getting a lot of questions about that, but as of now, no news as to whether or not early access will come sooner or later, or if it even will be a thing. It's hard to say at this point, but the second I know something, I will let you guys know. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this video. This was just a quick little update for you guys on everything that was talked about in the EW stream today, as well as a couple things that I wanted to real quickly just mention. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video, and I will respond to as many as I can. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!